Have you ever looked at a cool stat block for a monster in an RPG book and thought, this is really neat, but how does this help me tell the story? How does this integrate into my world? What does this mean for my characters that this monster exists? A lot of my favorite fantasy RPGs, the ones I enjoy running for and playing in and designing for, um, they'll give you all the combat abilities and spell descriptions out the wazoo, but these same RPGs often kind of just leave it up to the GM to build the story about that monster. And they oftentimes don't have any tools for telling you, the GM, what kinds of stories these monsters are well suited to tell. My name is Kyle, and you may recognize my voice, if, if not the cartoon version of me, from my YouTube channel, Mapcrow, the RPG art show. And today I want to talk to you about my latest project, Monstrous, the stories behind the stat blocks. My friends and I over at Cloud Curio have been working for about a year on this book, and we're really excited to bring it to crowdfunding. We've all been working in the industry for years, and we as a group have put out plenty of digital products and zines already, but this is the first time that we have gone to crowdfunding with such a big project. Now, if you have seen some of my Building Better Monsters videos from the channel, you've probably seen some of the art and heard some of my thoughts that are going into this book. But honestly, it's all of the writing and editing and design work that Kenny and Sally have put into this book that really makes it special. And if you have seen some of the preview packets we've been putting out, you'll know what I mean. What we've done is we've picked 10 different categories that we've come up with for different kinds of monsters that each resemble result in a unique narrative for your game. We're calling each of these broader categories cores, and each core comes with a brief introduction to talk about how to work it into your story, but they also come with these blank worksheets that will help you come up with your own ideas and work it into your specific story. Now, along with each of the narrative cores, we're also providing three examples that we're calling forms, which are kind of like our filled out versions of each of the core worksheets. And a lot of them are going to be our spin on the classic designs from monsters you've probably already used in your game, but might want a, just a little bit more mustard on it. All of these worksheets and all of the tools and all of the tables in Monstrous are all system agnostic and designed to fit into any fantasy campaign. And we also have suggestions for how you could work it into some sci-fi games if that's what you're into. There aren't any stat blocks or explicit combat abilities in Monstrous because our assumption is you already have picked the game that you most love to run and probably that game already has all the information you need for that mechanically already. But what it doesn't have is a way to generate interesting stories and tie it into your world specifically. With Amber's exquisite layout for this project and all of the illustrations and paintings that I have been making for this hardback book, this is going to be as much an art object as it is a practical GM prep tool. And that's why we're asking you to help pledge and back this project, because we want to make sure that this book is as special as as we think it deserves to be and have the print quality and construction quality that we think it really needs. Now, this is probably kind of foolish of me, but I think you folks deserve to know what it really costs to get a book like this made. And I'm not presenting you with some falsely diminished goal just to support this narrative of success around the project. I think that's kind of a gross way to treat people. The thing is, as much as I adore this project and I believe in it and the people that I'm working with to make it happen, I have no idea how likely it is that we will reach our goal or not. But I also know if I set that goal really low, we could end up having to ship a book to people that we're not happy with. And that's not worth it to us. So we'll all find out together what kind of demand there even is for this kind of book. You'll see on the campaign page that we have a few different pledge levels. We have digital only, we have the standard hardback edition, and we have the deluxe hardback edition with the classy cover with the gold foil title. We also have a pledge level that comes with the deluxe hardback and a deck of monster cards so you can show off all these creepy things to your players. If we bust through our initial funding goal, we have some exciting stretch goals planned as well, including digital content for all pledge levels and that deluxe hardback edition 
definition gets closer and closer to looking like that book that's in my mind's eye whenever I close my eyes and think monstrous thoughts. But I don't know how likely any of that is to happen. All I know for sure is when folks check out the preview packet and use it to prep a game, they love it. So if you're watching this video and you haven't checked out the preview packet yet, download that on the campaign page and try it out for yourself. If you love it too, swing back to the campaign page and pledge at whatever level works for you. And if this is the first time you're hearing about any of this, go ahead and check the campaign page for a link to a video that shows me using Monstrous to come up with a brand new original monster and prep a whole one shot around it. In any case, I just want to thank you for watching this video and listen to me yammer on about a project I'm really excited about and, and brag about all the cool people that I'm working with. And Amber, Sally, Kenny, I'm just really glad I met you and I'm glad that we're working on this together.